Hey, what is going on YouTubers? Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, we're going to be doing the unboxing and the review on a very cool budget drone that I got directly from GearBest. And well, by budget, I mean that this thing is under $200 and it has the ability to record in 1080p. It comes with brushless motors, it has GPS, altitude hold, follow me, and many other great features. So as you can tell here from the box, it is recommended for ages 14 plus. This is also known as the JJ Pro X5 in case you guys can find it by the name of Epic. And if we look here on the side of the box, well, we can see that it has point of interest, which is another feature. You can set this directly from the application. And also, like I said before, it has a GPS. And if we look on this side of the box, well, we get more of the features. It has, again, uh, the point of interest like I mentioned before follow me mode GPS it has 5g Wi-Fi built-in a 1080p camera unfortunately it doesn't have a gimbal so the video is not gonna look as stable but I'll be talking about this in just a second it comes with brushless motors and it has a click and battery meaning that you just click it in and the drone will start and it doesn't have a dedicated switch now I find that to be a little bit of an inconvenience but I'll be talking about it in just a second so here again we have the 1080p camera this is not a gimbal camera so again the recording is not going to look as stable but for the price guys we really can complain and finally we have the follow me feature so let's go ahead and take a look inside of the box here very briefly it comes very well protected it definitely doesn't feel like a cheap device and this is one of the highlights of the item like i said before the build quality is just unreal especially at 169 dollars so the first thing we find here are the manuals and then we get this little sketch of the remote control where it's giving you a lot of information and here we can see uh, that well this is going to be a pretty standard remote control it doesn't have any uh, special features and then we find here the manuals these are very very useful guys and this to be a 169 dollar drone it is really easy to fly they explain everything from what uh, the controller settings mean on the actual remote control because it comes with a display and so on and so forth so again very easy to follow manual and then here we have the foam and the first thing you find so far is the drone itself we can see that once again we got four brushless motors here it comes already installed so it is ready to fly out of the box and here we have the 1080p camera and on the back side of it we have the SD card slot um, on the top here we have nothing going on on the front we have some LED lights and also on the bottom side you guys are going to see that well different colors mean different things I'll be talking about it in just a second here so then here we have the battery this is a 7.4 volt 1800 million battery It's able to give you approximately 13 to 15 minutes of flight which is really cool um, inside of the box here we have the mount so that uh, we can hook up our phones we have the actual bracket that holds it in place then here let's see what else we have we have some extra propellers we get some tools to remove the propellers we get the charger now this charger guys is uh, what I called uh, proprietary I think I'm saying this uh, correctly so uh, this means that it has this little piece where you hook up the battery and you can't charge it other ways it is only one way and then you hook this up to a USB port in this case it is micro and that's how you charge the battery it takes quite a long time in my case it took almost four hours and a half to charge from zero to 100 percent so be the judge on that one uh, the next thing we have here is the USB cable then on the opposite side we have the transmitter itself and this is all we get inside of the box now that we know everything that comes inside of the box for the JJ Pro epic all we need to do now is set it up and there's very little assembly required here the only thing that we had to put together is the bracket for your smartphone in case you want to use it with the application which is recommended so this is the bracket that will be holding your cell phone like I said before and all we have to do is open the antennas here on the transmitter make sure that you insert the mount that will be holding the bracket and all we have to do is place it here on the top like so and it'll snap on this is all you have to do and then make sure that you click this part into the bracket and there it is guys it is that simple now all we have to do is place the cell phone on here and you have a fully working and assembled transmitter 
So now here for the buttons of the transmitter, um, on the top here we have the one that is responsible for taking off and also landing. Keep in mind that this is different from the GPS uh, landing button they're not the same um, also we have here what appears to be a locking button this is for calibration purposes now keep in mind that this transmitter is already calibrated from factory so I would recommend that you guys leave that alone the next one we have here is for again um, GPS landing in case you lost signal um, or you just simply cannot retrieve the drone back to you then you just simply press this button and the drone will return to its original position which is really cool so then we got here the dedicated uh, camera button. I think if you press it once, it'll shoot a picture. And if you hold and press it, it'll start recording for you. We have a little wheel here so that you can move the camera upward and downward. And then we have here again the on and off switch. This is for headless mode. If you turn the switch to the right, it'll go into headless mode. And we have here, um, I think this is also a, um, a GPS button so that you can activate the GPS on the drone and that's pretty much it here for all the buttons that we have available so again really easy to use transmitter on the bottom here is also going to be displaying some information and then on the back side here uh, it does require four AA batteries in this case I use Duracell as they are one of the best qualities um, batteries out there in the market and on the back here we have two dummy buttons which really they don't do anything they're just there for luxury purposes and then we have the antennas on the top uh, these also do not do anything this is again just decoration and uh, again that's pretty much it for the transmitter here so all we have to do guys to set it up make sure that your battery is completely charged turn on your transmitter like so and then you're going to attach the battery here to the back side of the drone which is really simple to do as well and just make sure that you push it all the way in I think I put it backwards there we go and after you do so make sure that you lock it in place so that way the battery doesn't come off during flight and you can cause a crash and possibly injure someone so anyways now we have to give it just a few seconds before it pairs with the transmitter it'll give you a beep in just a moment here so give it about I would say four or five seconds and now with that beep it means that it has communicated with the transmitter and it goes into compass calibration mode by itself there's nothing that you need to do so now all we have to complete here is the rotation of the drone itself a couple times until the lights go green and that's an indication that well the uh, next process is to move the drone upward like so and then turn it around until the green lights go away there we go so now we have calibrated the compass of course this is not a proper calibration because we're doing it on top of a desk and this should be done on the ground outside so now the drone is all set up and ready to go guys the next step is to activate the motors to do so you just move these two levers towards the middle on the bottom side and by the way here we have uh, some information right now is uh, saying that it doesn't have any GPS locked in place right now that is suspected we are inside of the house then we have here the signal between the transmitter and the actual drone that's perfect we have the height and the distance and then we have some flying modes on here uh, right now I have it on flying mode 2 you can change this directly from the application with your smartphone and then here we have the battery indicator for the transmitter and the one on the bottom is for the drone so that's pretty much for the information that we get here directly from the transmitters. To connect to the application, all we need to do is go here to the Play Store, download this app. It is called JJRCX. Once you download it, you have to, actually before we even open it, we go here into settings. Let's go into Wi-Fi connections. And we're going to be connecting to the one that says drone underscore 22. Just click on it. There's no password required either. And there we go. The drone has already connected and then after you have downloaded the application now you can go directly to it click on go and then you click on next next and there we go guys the application is currently here connected with the drone as you can tell and the transmission is not super quick there's a little bit of a delay but for the most part it works really really well so on here we have some awesome telemetry just like any other smart drone like I said before we have the signal between the transmitter and the drone itself the battery of the transmitter which is perfect uh, right now the drone has about 75% of battery it gives you the uh, meters of the 
uh, distance, okay? And then we had the meters of the height that you're flying. Uh, it tells you if the aircraft is connected or not. And again, we don't have any GPS so far locked. Then here is giving us, um, I believe this one is for the angle of the camera. Uh, we have 3D view in case you want to use the goggles. And on the side here, we have some buttons for auto return. We have orbit mode and follow me mode. So again, this is all very self-explanatory. On the right side here, we have the camera shutter. This is for pictures. If you click on here and the button turns red, that's for recording. And then here you can set up the points of interest using the maps. By clicking here, you set it up and the drone will fly at those points of interest, which is a really nice feature as we know already. So there we have it guys for the application. The next step is to, well, go outside, uh, fly this thing as you guys can appreciate. Uh, what we need to do to activate it is just move the two levers of the transmitter down and that'll activate the motors. To take off, you can either use the button that I showed you guys before on the transmitter and it'll auto take off for you. After that, the GPS will lock a signal and it should be stable. Now in this particular case, guys, I noticed that there was a little bit of a drag on the drone. I'm not sure if maybe we need a software update on the drone itself, or maybe my transmitter is out of balance. I need to calibrate it properly. But yes, it wasn't staying in place all the time. Uh, but other than that, since it was a really nice day here in Florida, I wasn't having any issues with the camera. For the most part, it was quite stable. Keep in mind that it doesn't have a gimbal. So when you're flying up there, it will definitely show some uh, what we call a jello effect on the camera itself but the colors and the focus are really good this camera is much better than i anticipated especially at 169 dollars the auto return works very very well unfortunately since i didn't have a lot of space and i was flying um, around the neighborhood i couldn't um, use the follow me feature uh, too often so i couldn't show you that feature but if you guys want on a separate video when i get time i can definitely show it to you plus other YouTubers out there have tested it and said that yes, it is working. So I guess the only cons about this drone is the camera uh, not having a gimbal is a little bit shaky, especially if it's windy and the drone is fighting the wind. Then you will notice how the recording is not the greatest. Uh, this is not unfortunately a professional recording drone. This is only for the hobby in case you guys are interested. Uh, this is recommended for people who are starting this hobby. It's a really inexpensive drone at $169. If you crash it, you really don't have much to lose. And it's really difficult to crash it in the sense that, well, it has GPS, position hold, and it has all these great features, but it doesn't have crash avoidance sensors. So if you guys get close to an object, then yes, you can crash it and break it. So again, very inexpensive drone. It works tremendously well. It has a very decent battery lasting about 13 minutes overall. So I really don't have much to say bad about this drone except for the camera not having a gimbal. But again, for the price guys, we can argue the fact that this is a very good drone for the price and I can recommend it to almost anybody out there that is starting in the hobby and they want something that, well, they can enjoy, fly and that it has a, a decent camera. With this being said guys, I think that now we have completed here the unboxing, the hands-on, and the review of the JJ Pro Epic Drone. Like always, if you guys do have any questions, you know exactly what to do. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.